Obviously the choice has been made is the Africa Twin 1100, no Adventure Sport, no DCT, just the standard version. It's the first time I have the bike in the garage and when a new bike comes into the garage there are a few things I usually do. But enough for the chit chat, let's get on it. One of which is get all those ugly stickers that are warnings and alerts around the bike and relocate them under the seat. I usually don't throw them away because the law or whatever, I have an excuse. And it's easy enough uh, if you eat them up, peel it off, stick it under the seat, you're still legal, forget about it. Fortunately, the Africa Twin doesn't have that many. There are only actually three that I want to remove, two up top and one on the engine, and that'll be it for that. There are a few other things I want to remove around the bike, but we'll get there uh, later. There is another thing that uh, I usually do right away, is adjust the handlebar. Then I'm gonna add a phone uh, holder, because nowadays you gotta have a phone holder on the bike. We're gonna adjust the levers, even if the clutch lever is non-adjustable, so we can only adjust the front brake lever. And when it comes to the levers on the bottom, the shift and the, and the brake, they, they kind, of, kind of are adjustable, but so far uh, they, they've been working pretty good. On top of that, we're gonna talk about what are the plans for the Africa Twin, accessory-wise, we're gonna install what, where, and I'm planning to do a long ride from uh, Riverside, where I live, nearby Los Angeles, all the way to Seattle. If any of you is around, send me a message, maybe we can meet up, get a cup of coffee, or get uh, something to eat, we'll see. But uh, let's start. Uh, let's start removing those stickers, and uh, obviously, to remove stickers, we need to apply heat. Let's start with the job that, for me, is the most annoying of them all: sticker removal. Get an air dryer or a heat gun. Heat gun would be better, but I don't have any gun. I have a professional hair dryer. Considering <laughs> what's going on up here, I heat and low low flow. So, let's warm it up. Two hours later. One eternity later. All right, the stickers have been removed and relocated under the seat with minimal effort and minimal traces, like no residue. Almost seems like Honda knew that those stickers wouldn't stay there long because they were really, really easy to remove. But you know, I installed the SP Connect on the handlebar and it's really really easy. I have SP Connect on most of my bikes because with one case I can actually use it on, on multiple bikes. I like the way it works, I like the fact that it's so very small and it's so easy to install that do I really need to show you how to? I'm pretty sure you can do it on your own, but this is done. So next step is to adjust the handlebars. I want to rotate rather than move the handlebar forward a bit because I want it to be slightly higher and slightly forward. The brake and the clutch lever are quite high, which they're okay when, uh, when you ride sitting down, but when you're standing up, they're not that great. So I want to get into a half away in between. And to do that, I'm gonna loosen up a couple of bolts here, but in theory you shouldn't need to rem to loosen all four of them. Two of them should be just enough. Gotta get on it. That's how I want it. That's how they're gonna be. And those need to be torqued to 32 Newton meters or 24 foot pound of torque. Remember one of the reasons why I bought the Africa Twin is because the manual was readily available. There it is. Mm -hmm. 
Done. Moving on. As I said, unfortunately, you can't adjust the clutch lever, but you can actually adjust the brake lever. So on the brake lever, you have a dial that goes one to six, one being the further away, six being the closest to, to the throttle. To adjust it is fairly easy, push slightly forward on the, on the brake lever and then just rotate the dial. Uh, when it comes to me, I like it at four, at four, my middle finger, phalan second phalange is actually uh, hooking down while on the pointy or index finger, it's slightly turned on it because I do most of my braking with this and the second finger over here is just as a reinforcement. So this will work really good for me. Number four, where I can actually squeeze all the way hard and, I can, and my fingers don't get squished while my other two fingers have enough grip and can modulate the front brake much, much better. So this is what you can do, let's move on. Another thing you can change on the Africa Twin to make it fit you specifically is the gear lever. Now, I don't mean change it as replace it, I mean change the position. Now, to change the position on the gear lever in this specific bike, you don't do it over here, but you do it up here. Now, if you loosen up that bolt and you pull this out, you can actually adjust it up or down. And as you move this up and down, you are actually carrying the, the lever with you. And then on top of that, you can adjust the rod slightly. That will do miracles if you're using a big boots or a big boot or if you change the peg and you put a different type of peg so in my case this for now is working is working really well but among the plans i have for the africa twin there is a quick shifter which i already purchased so and the quick shifter uh from honda it doesn't come with just the the shift rod over here it comes with everything the lever the little arm up here and the shift rod with the quick shifter on it very simple uh, so we're gonna be installing that later on in another video because that deserves its own video so i'm not gonna touch it for now it's good enough i'm gonna leave it alone but you can do it so you do it while i move on since we are down here and since the Africa Twin has fully adjustable suspensions, might be worth it to grab this knob over here, which is actually the preload, and crank it up a bit if you are as heavy as I am. Bikes come out from the factory adjusted for an average weight. I'm definitely above average weight. So without doing too many calculations or too many measuring stuff i just give it a crank to the preload and it usually has been working over the years for me you may want to crank it up go ride it feel it and it's easy to adjust so you can do it on on the fly just pull over change the setting and go on for the forks is a little different uh, if you want to do a proper job it's gonna take a little bit more than just a crank I'm adjusting this one because most of the weight is here, while for that I'll be working on it later on. But now, moving on. Another thing we can easily adjust on the Africa Twin is the brake lever. The brake lever is simple. You just loosen up this bolt, pull it out, move it. Usually one click will do either up or down and the brake lever will sit at rest either here slightly down like that or slightly up it all depends on you it all depends how you ride if you ride mostly street and you want to lower because you don't want to touch it too much you lower it down if you want to higher you raise it up you can do it over here very simple very one bolt and that's it we have done quite a bit to the bike so far but there is one more thing that the africa twin will let you adjust it is the height of the seat. This is set on the highest position right now, but you can adjust it. First of all, remove the back, which is not as easy as it seems. Turn the key, pull up, 
and then you have to pull forward and up at the same time like that otherwise you're gonna be there fiddling quite a bit unlike some of the other bikes the front seat is not bolted down uh, but it's just slid in so what you do you grab it pull back and up at the same time and the seat comes out if we look under the seat there are two levels of adjustment for every place where the seat hooks up on top of that you have two uh, spots for the seat to actually sit on and you can adjust it either on the high position which it was earlier or on the lower position which is which is this one over here and here we go as you guys can see the difference it's quite substantial it looks like uh, an inch or so most likely I'm gonna keep it on the lower position while I'm traveling because being an inch lower or so is gonna give me more protection uh, from the air and it's gonna be more comfortable the knees are not too bent either so touring position but for everyday life I like it in the high position so uh, let me put it back as it was Here we go, moving on. There is a lot you can do to make your, this bike fit you, specifically you. You can adjust almost everything other than the clutch, which nowadays uh, the clutch should be adjustable as well, but it is what it is. So which accessories I've planned so far and already bought to install on the Africa Twin? Obviously a taller windscreen because I need to go on a trip uh, to Seattle tons of miles, I think 2,000 plus miles, I want a little bit more protection. Then a rear rack from Honda to install over there, not the panniers or the top box, just the rack so I can tie stuff on it. And the quick shifter, those three mods I already have here, ready to go, we're gonna install it soon enough. Other than that, later on in life or later on, in the year we are also gonna add most likely a center stand and either grips for the winter if you buy this bike in europe there is an actual version of this one that comes already with the tall windscreen with the rack with the center stand and possibly with the quick shifter that cost only a thousand euros more which coincidentally uh it's the same price if you buy those mods if you buy those accessories from the dealer where you bought the bike most likely you get so much of a discount that uh, the windshield the rack the center stand and the quick shifter together will should come uh, about a thousand dollars or so if uh, the place where you bought the bike does not give you the discount on the accessories you buy after the fact well you really need to go somewhere else uh, if you're in southern california obviously go to uh, socal honda in carson the guy really worked with me and gave me incredible discounts because i bought the bike not because of the youtube channel not because of the shout out which i'm doing just because it was so nice to me but apparently that's what it does with all his clients so you don't have to be special together if you go there other than that i hope you guys like this video there's gonna be many more videos coming for the africa twin as well as for the scrambler the aprilia tuono and the ktm eventually over time so much to do so little time if you did enjoy this video leave a like subscribe it's free and if you want to be proactive, join my patrons. And obviously, thank you very much to my patrons that are helping quite a bit. I hope you guys enjoy. Ride on, work on your bike, and I'll see you next time.